you guys welcome back to my channel i'm here with my sister yeah yeah maria that's her channel and yes like i said this is my sister okay so we're gonna be talking to you guys about a documentary she told me about i didn't even know about it's a movie too they made it into a movie but i didn't even know nothing about it until she told me so i was curious one day actually it was one night um it was i think going to be one o'clock in the morning and i was just not i wasn't even tired and I went to see it because I remember her telling me and I was kind of scared because it was in the morning so anyway I was watching it at night well I was watching other videos and then in the suggested um videos I saw this little girl that she's just like this <laughs> and I'm like oh my god that little girl looks freaky <laughs> so I clicked on it and then um I was already tired but I was also scared so I was like uh <laughs> Okay, maybe I'll like turn it off in case I'm, I'm like too scared, but I ended up falling asleep So the next day I started watching it in the morning and then um, in the comments I saw like people saying like oh you should watch the movie now So I did and then <laughs> I'm like you. oh my goodness, this is pretty good <laughs> uh, So it's called Child of Rage Child of Rage Child of Rage I'll you know write it down top title but anyways it's, in this description too. Yeah, in the description. So basically, the documentary is about a young girl. I think she's six. Seven. Six or seven. I'm not, I don't remember. But anyways, she's pretty young. And she is with her therapist, um, doctor. And they're making an interview. And so she starts off like, well, he starts off by asking her like a bunch of questions. Um... So you want to start it off or you want to talk about it first? It's your channel. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> okay. So he asked um, the little girl, uh, who, do you, who do you hurt? And she says that she hurts like animals and she hurts um, her brother, her younger brother. He is, I think... I don't even know how old is he held. I don't okay. think they say the age, but he's younger than her. Yeah, he's but pretty young. they're just saying like, oh, I have hurt um, my brother. Uh, the animals that they have, like this dog, like she stabs them with needles. Yeah. Um, until they bleed, mm -hmm. and um, they also said about these little birds that she oh, yeah. squeezed them or um, like took them out of the nest. Yeah. She took them down out of the nest and. She first uh, she was fear, uh, first curious, and then I think it happened another day when the parents weren't even looking. Um, well, that's in the video. That's well, yeah, video. that's in the movie. But. In the documentary, they just say like, "What did you do to those baby birds?" And she said, "I squeezed them." And then they, uh, the therapist asked, "Like, did you kill them?" And she just, she just goes like, "I don't know." Yeah. I did hear my mom say something, but she wasn't sure. But then later on, like he talks to her a little bit more. And she admits that um, they did that. Yeah, she squeezed them and broke um their necks. So that was kind of sad. But anyways, and also like she said, talked about the dog. And so about the little brother. Um, the little brother, she actually does like some pretty traumatized things. It's this, this documentary, it's crazy, you guys. It's insane because she actually tells you like on point what she did. And that's kind of like... Scary like she kind of doesn't want to tell you which anybody wouldn't want to say anything mm -hmm. in the therapist sessions but um she slowly starts talking to them and it's so weird because she's little and she knows like all these words yeah um so uh this might like be disturbing specific yeah. words. so if you guys don't like these kind of words like nasty words and stuff like that yeah, and talk out of it's disturbing it's very yeah. disturbing this video it might be disturbing for some and also the documentaries might be disturbing oh, yeah. for, for you guys to watch because even i felt like oh my god yeah <laughs> and i'm like already like fucking old but it's sad it's kind of sad and weird in a way but yeah so like she knows she's seven again she already knows like the private parts uh, like how they're called like vagina yeah. and penis, penis. I don't want to say too much, but yes, um, she also admits to masturbating mm -hmm. um, every or, day. Like, yeah, every day. And the mom like said that she would do it um, in public. Yeah. Uh, when they were in the car, like in the public parking lot, uh -huh. and um, and also like she, about the brother, she the the mom caught her when like they were in the room, I guess, and the mom caught the girl doing really. 
molesting him. Yeah, molesting the little brother, like, and that's kind of sad. Touching him down there and from the back, like poking him. Um, like putting the actual finger inside his, you know what, anus. It's so sad. So yeah, it's sad because like he he's also like telling her to stop, but obviously she's she doesn't stop, and so the mom saw everything, and that's when they were really really concerned because they were saying that they were like, you know, she was really hurting her brother so yeah and then um mm. like the little kid would say like his stomach was hurting oh yeah and like the dad well technically they're adopted yeah so they're, oh yeah we didn't mention that. Yeah. i'm sorry you guys yeah it's not their actual kids um they were moving from foster to foster homes and so one day um they wanted to adopt someone because they couldn't have kids so um they end up you know getting those two kids like they were really excited when they told them oh there's two kids you guys wanna you know because like, uh, she couldn't have kids so they yeah. couldn't have kids on their own so they ended up adopting yeah and they came across them too and yeah. um, it's sad because like it's their first kids of like ever, ever like, yeah you know? so and to find out that the little girl was really traumatized when she oh we didn't even say it either she was traumatized <laughs> i'm so sorry you guys you guys gotta watch that documentary though it explains like the whole yeah, thing so, but um oh go ahead oh so it explains why her behavior is like that it's because as a child like she was like a year one, and something. yeah like a year maybe a little bit younger or i don't really know but she was like around <laughs> one year old and she um her her um birth father uh, would molest her as well like raped her as a kid and would yeah. touch her down there and um, she would remember all of that yeah she, she would, would have nightmares yeah. like about that you know incident so she will always like wake up screaming no stop dad like you know like all those stuff and obviously it stayed in her head so and all that hate and the rage that's why she would always yeah. be like that and take it out on other people yeah and um she would keep knives like um, oh yeah with her like steal them from her mom like from the kitchen um saying that she wanted to kill them and yeah. then also um oh uh they go out and play in the basement oh yeah and the little boy goes out uh this is in the movie but they do explain like in the documentary that she started pounding his head like against the, the concrete yeah. like in the basement so down that that was also like some crazy stuff in the movie it's crazy because they had to take him to the emergency room because he was really really bleeding because she would like that smash it so it was wow <laughs> like in the movie it's just scary because it shows you like actual things that happen which I'm pretty sure it happened, like, in real life, like, I guess, but... You know how sometimes in, like, uh, what are they called, based on a true story, they sometimes might add other things, yeah. but a lot of the things they do mention was in the actual documentary. Yeah, because the dad was actually a priest and... Pastor. A pastor, and so, uh, like, in the documentary, like, the real person was, you know, a pastor as well, so... Yeah, <clears throat> and also what else? What else um, yeah, happened? Like in the movie, like I said, it explains it. Like it shows more things. Like also like there was one incident. They were like outside, and then it was the brother, the dad, and the dad and the grandpa and his little brother. I think yeah, and they were like right there, and then so the dad and the little brother actually went um, inside the house. So she stayed with her, her grandpa, well not her real grandpa, but you know the grand the adopted grandpa yeah, and and this is keep in mind this is in the movie um so she actually like says some weird stuff like sexual stuff to him and so she ends up like touching his private part which it was kind of weird and awkward but i was like damn like how could that little girl act like it's weird like she was jealous of the little brother because they were gonna go fishing, oh, fishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and she was like i want to go fishing too like when yeah. can we go fishing and um she and he ends up selling her like saying like oh we could go yeah. but like some other time and then because she gets jealous she sits on him mm -hmm. and then like says like oh like weird things like yeah. i don't know like <laughs> um just crazy something stuff. about like saying like this little girl she gets closer to him starts touching him down yeah. there and he's so. like because i'm hot or something yeah like that. I'm just don't like, you find me hot or something yeah. i guess it's like okay weird like, uh, but yeah weird, a little and so girl. yeah so and it turns out like she goes to therapy with another lady that actually wrote a book i believe so she's really into like people that well little kids that she helps little kids that are really traumatized and need help and stuff so 
she's the one that ends up like you know helping her throughout like the sessions and stuff because so it might be like in the real documentary it might be like them saying like what's going on in the video but we're not too sure because that's the movie yeah but it like the movie, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil the, the end of the movie. But you guys really gotta watch the um, documentary first. Watch the documentary first, and like and I said, it's movie. pretty crazy. And then after, watch the movie because, like I said, um, some are probably not, you know, as accurate. But you know, we're just giving you like a brief summary. <laughs> but yes, definitely go watch. <coughs> sorry, definitely go watch the documentary first, and then the movie. So. And, and it gives you the ending and the documentary. The yeah. movie, I didn't get to finish it all, but she did. Yeah, and but the documentary is kind of sad because at the end she starts crying when they tell her, um, what what happened again? What happened with your birth father? And then she would explain it, and she said that now it hurts her like if she does things to people like it hurts she actually her. gets emotion now. Yeah, and she actually cries, and she wouldn't cry because she wouldn't have no feelings and nothing, but. Yes, it's pretty like crazy and like I said she told me about it so yeah I'm I'm really glad I watched it because it is like a like I said it's kind of crazy at the same time but like it's it's kind of sad after if you think about it cuz I mean they're just kids and if you're traumatized as a kid I mean it's not your fault it's basically the person that did stuff to you so I mean that, that now she's a nurse right yeah like the actual her name is Beth no, what's her Beth name? Beth Thomas, I think. Beth Thomas, yeah, that's her real name. The girl, the little girl. Now she's a she's successful a nurse. nurse, so like that's, you know. So yes, I think that's it. What yeah. else do you? Yeah. Know? Oh, I was saying that this uh, documentary uh, slash movie reminded me of Macaulay Culkin's um, movie oh, the that movie. one I showed you. But I can't remember the name of it. Son of something. Is that a rage? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> was, uh, I don't know. So, oh, wait. I don't even know. No. I don't know, but there's a movie sim that kind of reminds <laughs> me of this because he's crazy there, too, and wants to kill um, his sister first. Um, but, yeah, you should watch both of those. Yeah, though. if we remember the <laughs> name, we'll put it in the description box so you guys can watch that one, too. But, I mean, that wasn't based on a true story. This was one. This was one of them, so that's kind of like Or maybe it freaky. was... Not really based on a movie, but... But like, I'm sure there's cases that similar, happen like yeah. that, But anyways, but this one was really a real actual documentary and like a movie that was based on a true story. So that was kind of freaking and scary. But anyways, enough said. I think that's pretty much it, I think. So yes. And like I said, go subscribe to her. Her channel is Yaya Maria. Yaya and the little... Underscore Maria. Maria. So definitely stay tuned for more videos. Have a nice day. Bye.